All right, I'm going to show you how to um, stream your Oculus Quest gameplay with the uh, with the game audio. Um, I was struggling to figure out how in the world to do this wirelessly without a bunch of uh, wire like Bluetooth transmitters and Bluetooth receivers. Uh, like to buy two of those, it's like sixty bucks. You could do it that way, or you could spend, uh, what are they, 40, 50, 60 dollars on, uh, Google Chromecast, and you could just use a capture card to capture it that way, but then you need an HDMI splitter, and all that stuff costs money. Um, I already have most of that stuff, except for the Chromecast, but still, even that, that's, uh, that's like 50, 60 bucks. So, with this app right here, well, it basically it took me down a rabbit hole. Like, I was searching all this stuff, how to do it. I came across this dude's video. He said uh, to download this uh, Android emulator, which it's not bad and it works. And, uh, you could use this cast receiver that you just download from the Android store once you get your account linked to this uh, this uh, what is it, Nox Nox uh, Android emulator. You basically link your your account and then you download cast receiver. But I thought, well, isn't there like an app that does this? but for Windows. And so that took me to this air server. Somebody suggested it in the forums. I couldn't find a video on it. <clears throat> and so it took me to this air server. Okay. And this works. Then you, I'll show you. It's just in the Windows store. You get, you get a free trial. Then you go buy an activation key online. Holy shit, 40 bucks. So that's out. Actually, with this air server, it can be cheaper. You can get, uh... This is, like, for the business license. I don't know what the hell the difference is. But, uh, you go with this, uh, right there. You go to buy. And you can get a consumer license for 20 bucks. This this is for the Windows 10, Windows 7 through 10 download, and you can also use the uh, the Windows App Store version as well. But then I was looking again, and I don't know how I found this dude's video on YouTube. Just looking, you know. And he finally said how to do it. He has basically a guide, but I wanted to go a little bit more in depth because there's a lot of people asking him questions about it on how he did it and stuff. So I figured I'd just show you a little bit. So the program that he uses in this video, this uh, AO Nervi. Um, it's called Air Receiver. Look at the price on this guy. 350 So basically what it does is it acts as a Google Chromecast receiver on your PC. So you get this from the Windows Store. You can try a free trial. It's like free for, I want to say 7 or 30 days. I'm not sure. Um, I think I just I just bought it here. So should be showing up for me as paid for. I mean, this air server, it does work too. I can show you that as well, but it really does the same thing as this. And it's air, air receivers like way, way cheaper. So here we go. You start up air receiver, right? And it's waiting for connection from client. Make sure you're on the same 
you're on the same uh, network as your uh, quest is on but from there you go into the headset I'll show you guys what to do like, after it uh, becomes paired with it and everything alright so what you do is you go to sharing go to down to the first option it says cast and wait a second here yeah sharing I had two of them up I had the air server one and I had the 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 receiver air receiver both up so I didn't know which one to click on but here it is and my my name on this is just my desktops name Hit next. All right. Now I'm going to pull this up on OBS. Uh, there it is. Okay. There's the app down there. All right. And you're seeing what I'm seeing. Okay. So here I'll show you little bit here. see what I did was you to navigate and they're sharing right there then you click on cast and it'll show you like the the names of things that you can cast to and the first thing that shows up is oculus app don't click on that unless you want to pair it to your phone um, click on your your air receiver name you can name it to anything, I just left it as, you know, my desktop name. But that's how you do it. Um, I can show you in-game what it looks like. I'm not going to move around and stream or anything right now, but... Uh, we'll go Rocky Fury. The only annoying thing about this is on the upper right hand side of your video there's going to be a little red dot that basically lets you know that you're casting so and once you get in game like the i know it's like probably moving around like the video yeah it's moving around and then my fucking racket it's uh there we go Let's see now it should be normal and you can look around and see all your stuff in the game. And like the guy in that other video, he said he couldn't get, uh, uh, what's it called? No, that's not it. He said he couldn't get uh, air receiver to show up as a window capture, but I got it to show up. Here, um, let me try to add it right now. See? Yeah. Here, um, see, I got it to show up. Now, there is a bug, I think, because I went to air receiver and I was messing with the settings. And then once I tried to, uh, see the source again in OBS well then it it uh it screwed up here I can go to my second monitor and show you no no I can't I was just going to show you like how I have it set here but it's just a window capture in o or game capture in OBS 
And then I navigate it to the specific window, which is just air receiver. So yeah, that's how you uh, stream the Oculus Quest. It has audio too. It seems a little low right now. You might be able to hear the audio from my headset and through my microphone, so I'll just turn that down. But now you should be hearing it. Um, as a desktop audio source. Oh so yeah. That's how you do it. And when you want to stop casting, you just do that. Um, you go home. Sharing. Casting. Stop casting. Click the game. And boom. There you go. That's how you do it. It works pretty much exactly the same way in, uh, in what's it called? Uh, air server. And I don't, I don't really see a reason to pay more for the same thing. Like I didn't notice a difference in quality on air and on the air server one as compared to the, uh, Air receiver. So, yeah. That's how you do it, guys. Um, hope that uh, made sense to you. Um, sorry for the black screen there for a little bit to switch sources. But, alright. Hope that was helpful. Peace.